Good morning, guys. It's Chris from DaxTrader.co.uk. It is Friday, the 20th of October, 2017. This is the DAX Technical Analysis. So just uh, done the webinar and got a bit of conversation going on at the moment as to what might be uh, available as an opportunity for today. So we're just going to do a quick summary of the markets and uh, see what the bullish and bearish uh, arguments are for today. Before we get started, trading financial markets is risky, involving the risk of losing our invested money. Webinars, videos, and articles are provided for educational purposes only. No investment advice is provided. If you decide to enter a trade on the back of any of the webinars, videos, or articles, then please do so entirely at your own risk. All right. So, as far as the levels are concerned for today, then, so we have the high of 1398. We have some debate over what is the trend defining level, but if we presume that it's still this 12,909, then that was tested yesterday and it held. So that's nice and confirmed. We've now just got to break above 1398 to continue the trend higher. We gapped open this morning, so there is a gap directly below the low of today. There's a low volume area. I need to just double check that on a day chart. But yeah, there's a low volume node, should I say, back from Wednesday and a low volume area from yesterday as well. And I believe that that is actually what's been gapped. So uh, still a low volume node. And I'm still bullish. Still bullish, looking for us to continue this move higher. Okay, value area high, 992, the point of control, 987, and the value area low, 939 from yesterday. If we do break through this gap, you'd imagine it's going to find some support at one of those levels. The daily pivot is very similar, I think. Uh, 986 on FXCM, which is pretty much what the point of control is. So that's a really nice spot for me. Personally, to look to buy, if we do manage to close that gap, we should probably hopefully find some support there and we can hide a stop underneath some structure to go long to go and target the highs. All right, daily charts. We've had a really nice retracement back to the median line after zooming through it. So points of A, B, and C. We zoom through this median line. We've switched back, tagged the median line to the pip. And now we are, well, Ideally looking for us to go and continue to touch the upper median line parallel, the next median line. So that could be anywhere between sort of 12, six, sorry, 13, six to 14,000. Assuming that it does continue that way. But uh, yeah, it's quite a big ask, but we'll see. The IB for yesterday was huge, about 130, 140 points. The IB is the opening range, stands for initial balance. Um, big gap, uh, Big move, fast move, should I say, down. That doji is interesting, actually. I wonder whether that was a balance point. That doesn't look like it is. Just eyeballing it, but sometimes you can find that these little dojis are uh, points of interest. No, in this particular case, we can ignore it. But again, it's I'm being distracted. Ignore me. So, yes, wide range on the I, uh, IB yesterday. So price continued to trade within those areas. So it was a, a ranging day, if you like, uh, within the IB. Gap open this morning. We've already pierced the top of the IB, starting to create a much, much smaller. In fact, we have created a much, much smaller opening range already. Um, and I noticed just before I got into this uh, recording that uh, a trade had been open. Uh, long at 38 somewhere around there so that's going quite well we'll see what happens with that and okay so trend defining levels we had a discussion about that as to what it should actually be and technically it shouldn't be 909 anymore and the reason for that is because of this high so we kind of had a low here high there the low should have actually been 964 because that high would have confirmed it and we broke through it and broke above it again so it's kind of a little bit confusing at the moment and when it comes like that sometimes it's best to take a step back and i'm just going to continue to use 909 as that level 
New fork on here, and that's interesting as well that we've got that median line. ABC, yep, gap straight through the median line. If we get a switch back and test that, it'll be interesting to see whether that can continue to build. All right, uh, what else did we take a look at? There were a couple of zones that we marked out, I think. Um, this particular chart was interesting because we've got two forks here. One is black and one is uh, sort of like a light gray. And what I found interesting on this particular one, if I just reverse these forks, make this one gray and that one black. Just remove a couple of these lines just to make it a little easier to read. Actually, correct myself before I do that. Let's just go and add these warning lines in here. Okay, no, I had an idea. It didn't work. I'll ignore that. So I'll add the warning lines to this one. What I find interesting with this particular fork is that um, when we failed to touch the median line down here, tested the upper median line parallel there, came back down to have another test at the median line, which failed, and then we burst out the top. But look what we've done. We've touched, them, we've touched a warning line, which is uh, an extension, basically, of the median line to the upper median line parallel. Extended out one more time, you get a warning line. And touched it almost perfectly there. Reacted to it, and we've tagged the median line. So that fork was left behind uh, this was the recent fork, but we really did take that out quite significantly. And we sort of seem to be trading back with inside that now after this gap this morning. And uh, so we'll see what, how that sort of plays out. Now, for bulls, the pivot and the pock from yesterday are the, the main sort of area to, to buy. If you also want to be aggressive, which is what I've done this morning, is you can take a, a long, assuming that the gap is not going to close. Uh, it may not work out, and if that's the case, so be it. But as far as the shorts are concerned, it does look interesting at the moment for bears simply because we've got a gap here, which is active of a pocket of significance there. If price does not break through that, um, then that is the spot to get short. Um, but of course, you've got this all-time high up there after this kind of little uh, bookend move was created. So there's going to run into some resistance here. So entirely sure how this is going to play out but we will continue to watch it the r2 is probably if it does continue to move higher today the r2 is probably going to slow price down so 129 looks interesting for sure it confirms a high and then there's an opportunity to fade from up there all right so they're the kind of the main levels that we've been discussing uh, since we opened up the webinar this morning Overall conclusion, I'm still personally bullish and I'm still going to use the 909 as the main level to hold. After that test of it yesterday, I'm still confident in that level and I'll be even more confident if it manages to take out the high from yesterday. And we'll just continue to follow the trend until the trend is no longer there. The only thing we just need to be aware of is whether we're going to get some sort of switchback reaction. Let me just talk you through what I'm saying there. Let's find the best chart to do this. Possibly just duplicate another one and just erase everything off of it so what do i mean by switchback reaction so for a little while we have been building this kind of push line where price has been respecting this level and it's just been building from it going higher and higher and higher and higher and as we pierce below it, often what you'd find is you get a switch back, it tags it from the underside, and then it moves lower. So I might draw the lines a little cleaner just to kind of capture frequency a little bit better. But if that is going to be the case, then this is a median line. And well, therefore, a fork would probably draw that line better than me. Ah, right, well, that's pretty much the fork we had a minute ago anyway. So I can kind of safely say that we've switched through the median line here. So um, often what you would have happened is we'd find a reaction at the median line to maybe head lower. As we've gapped through it, in my opinion, that shows a bit of strength. So 
that's sort of the main thinking behind uh, the bias for uh, for us here. Okay, guys, so we're going to leave it there for today. I'm off to Coventry uh, this afternoon, so um, we'll be back as normal for next week. And uh, come and join us for the webinar, which will be at 8.30, and um, the articles will be out at normal time as well. Hope you have a great trading day. Hope you have a great weekend. Get yourself away with your friends and your family. Take some time away from the charts. And, um, yeah, look forward to uh, getting back to work again on Monday. All right, guys, take care. Have a great trading day.